My name's Eric Rubens. I'm a photographer based in Laguna Beach, California, 31 years old. Did engineering and photography as long as I could until I just got a little bit too busy with photography and decided to just go full speed at that. The thing that I love most about photography is that people can go to the same spot and see different things. So that's kind of one thing that always blew me away. What I always try to look for is color, vibrancy, bright lights. I kind of always try to push the envelope that direction. So I, I kind of see every shot when I edit it as almost like a little art project. I kind of try to think about what I want to emphasize in the shot and then I usually try to push my edits um, toward emphasizing that object. What I would always do at work is I kind of like to daydream. So that's kind of what I try to provide in my photography and with my edits is just allowing someone to see like a crazy vibrant sunset or crystal blue water and maybe just try to relax and go away to another place for a little moment. Water is a really common theme in my photography, whether it was the beach or a river or a lake. And I think it's because it usually carries the color and the light. So I mean, during a really crazy sunset, oftentimes the water will end up being the same color as the sunset. I shoot on the A7R3, and I also shoot with the RX0 a little bit, just because it's waterproof and I can kind of actually shoot on the water and kind of get 50-50 shots. And I also shoot with the RX100. I do mainly time lapses with that, so I'll set that up as a time lapse body. I shoot a lot on the 1224 as of late. 2470, the biggest zoom I have. I don't really ever shoot above. My role, I think, is to kind of just express what I'm seeing in my own vision and kind of show off a destination in that style. I'm trying to figure out how I can bring my vibrant beach style to a city environment. And when I go to other places, I kind of just want to show anyone who's following me all these places that maybe they haven't been to before. I want to show off my work, you know, the beauty of the world and all the cool places that there are to visit. I think I try to differentiate my work from other people by just kind of staying true to what I've always been most passionate about. I think you'll find like a common theme in my work. I love the whole color range. I don't try to stick to one color and have like a uniform color feed. I try to take each shot on its own and push whatever color is in that shot. What motivates me to keep taking photos is how every day is, is a different scene. It's crazy that you can shoot a sunset and you know if you're the only person out that day, you're probably the only person who got that view. I think I take photos equally for myself and for others. I mean, like I said, I really enjoy sharing my work with my friends and family. I mean, my parents never travel and I kind of hope to inspire them to travel a little bit through them. My favorite photo was the first time I went to Cape Town in Africa. The moment I stepped foot over Camp Spay and kind of saw the beaches there with like the mountains behind them and the, the fog was rolling over, Table Mountain, it was sunset. It was one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. It's a really special shot for me and I, it's kind of encouraged me to keep going back there. So yeah, that's probably it. I think the reason why I always kind of gravitate towards sunsets is I worked nine to five the whole first five or six years I was into photography and the only time I could get off work and get out somewhere to shoot, it was sunset, I had 10 minutes to shoot. Just seeing the crazy arrays of color and light continually, I mean, that sparked my interest in photography and it's kind of always kept me, you know, wanting to see sunsets everywhere around the world. <laughs> I think I would always encourage myself to like not be too swayed by what other people think, just kind of stay true to how you saw a scene and I think people will kind of gravitate towards you because you kind of stay true to yourself and you don't change based on what other people think. Thank you.